Tooth Acres is a pretty little farm just outside of Port Alberni, known for its Black Angus cattle. It also produces forage, acres of hay to feed those cows. My dad had like an 800 to 1,000 bill cut, his second cut, um, and it was thigh high. And then all of a sudden, the guys were unpacking hay bales from the first cut in the barn on a Wednesday night, and they saw the, wor they saw the worms coming across the concrete. Um, and then by the next morning, you could see that the hay field was beginning to uh, thin out. And by the end of the next day, that lush, thigh-high field of hay had been eaten down to stubble. I'll never forget it, 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, about 32 degrees. It was just bare stubble left and about this high, and there was an adult army worm left on every piece of stubble as far as the eye could see. It was like a sea of worms. Uh, we had a, all the old timers in Port Alberni come and they were shaking their heads. They were, they'd never seen anything like that before. Eventually, after researching the pest online, Megan and other farmers identified it as a true army worm. But even though they were sure, the Ministry of Agriculture took some convincing. After all, no one had ever seen army worms in this number on Vancouver Island before. The outbreak levels we've seen this year is unprecedented. No one seems to remember ever seeing this before in uh, hay crops on the island. Um, however, there are records of this moth being collected on Vancouver Island in the Royal BC Museum for the last 150 years. Which begs the question, why have they shown up this year in such numbers? It's uh, hard to say. The moth flies up in April on wind currents or on storm systems in April, May from the southern areas, Mexico and southern United States. And so it came up on some storm, though it's hard to predict if that could happen in the future or when it might happen. When we visited Tooth Acres, the worms had already gone into their pupae stage, and Tracy stressed that understanding their life cycle is key to controlling armyworms. The armyworm is a danger in the first generation of larvae, and that occurs from uh, late April, May, June, and then they pupate in this area in um, mid-July. So the damage time is mostly June. Tooth Acres was not alone in facing this pest. At the height of the infestation, Alberni Valley farmers were counting 150 armyworms per square foot in their fields giving this area the dubious claim to being hardest hit of any community across the island. The damage was significant um, at variable levels throughout Vancouver Island, um, from Comox Valley all the way down to um, Cowichan Valley, and I think Port Alberni was the hardest hit area that we know of. All of which leaves Vancouver Island farmers wary about this new challenge to their livelihood. I don't know because it's they've they're here for the first time. We don't know what the weather, what the mild weather will do with the pupa, <clears throat> how the cocoons will do. There are several biological controls for armyworms, such as parasitic wasps as well as insecticides, but these are reactive controls and depend on an accurate and early forecast of an outbreak. What we've um endeavor to do and we're starting in August of this year is set up pheromone traps to trap for the moths so that we collectively get a better understanding of how long the moth flight is and when we can expect a second generation of larva and the larva then will occur in August um, and then next spring we'll be able to use the same traps and the same system to watch for moths that blow in in August or sorry April and May next year. So that's one way that we're going to um, at least keep people informed and try to anticipate further damage. Um, the other way is looking for larvae, and that's a visual inspection um, a couple weeks after moth, start, moth flight starts, and we're able to go and look in the new grass, into the new lush growth grass, and look for new larvae. And, and if we see a threshold number uh, over five per square foot, then the farmer might want to think about cutting early, uh, grazing, um, or even an insecticide spray at that point. Local updates on the Alberni Valley armyworm situation can be found on the Facebook page ACRD What's on Your Fork or contact Tracy Hippolyzer directly.
In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.